Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Oxford Mondial Advanced Textile Jacket, which costs £249.99. Oxford have been really busy launching their own clothing range over the last few years and the Mondial is one of their most popular textile jackets. It's gone down really well with customers of Sports Bike Shop and also with the press. This is recommended by Ride Magazine which specialises in product reviews so you'd like to think they know what they're talking about. The main construction is a nylon finish which gives a more matte kind of finish than polyester but also gives the same abrasion resistance results. It's got a classier feel to it for being nylon rather than polyester. There are overlays of reinforcement at the shoulders, the elbows, and also at the section just behind the hip here to give a bit more abrasion resistance. And overall, the abrasion resistance contributes to a CE rating of level A, which is the most basic within the most recent CE standard. To give you some flexibility and a bit of versatility, there are accordion stretch panels just above the elbow on each side. And then there are fit adjusters at the bicep and also at the waist, which allow you to take up the slack that's created if you take out the thermal liner, which I'll get to in a moment. The cuff fastener uses a combination of zip and Velcro, which means that you can fine tune that fit to either go inside or outside a glove. I found that you can get a reasonably chunky winter glove inside the cuff of this jacket, but it might be a bit of a squeeze. At the cuff, there's a two-way zip, so you can pull this one down to reveal an intake to bring in cooling air in the summer and you can decide how much you want to have that open. The main fastener is a Velcro storm flap covering a chunky zip. So this protects that from water so that it can't come in through the zip. And then the collar fastener is popper onto a sliding adjuster. So you can decide how tight you want that collar to be. And if you don't want the collar over at all when you're running in summer and you want a bit more airflow there's a loop which can pull back and be hooked onto there pockets two on the hips which have water resistant zips they're not waterproof so we'd say don't keep anything in there that you're not prepared to get soggy and then on the back there's a map pocket at the lower spine and then also on the back we have two quite long vents one at each shoulder blade to allow warm air to escape. On the front, we have more ventilation, which is quite an important feature for this jacket. These panels on the chest, undo the zip, pull away that Velcro panel and pop that open. And then there's two of these panels to allow quite a lot of air to flow through that mesh. The membrane in this jacket is Oxford's dry to dry membrane and it's laminated to the outer shell. The idea of that is that by having it working in tandem with the outer shell, the jacket gets less saturated with water and it dries quicker. The other benefit of that is that these vents can be direct air to body. Because we've pulled away the membrane, that will come straight through to your body without having to go through the membrane. Moving to the inside, as I said, it's got a removable thermal lining and that has an extra section that extends out past the end and what that does is it protects the back of the zip to stop any air flowing through the teeth of the zip and getting you a bit cool around the chest area. Also on the inside, we've got the body armour. This jacket comes with elbow and shoulder armour as standard and both of those meet level one, the most basic impact test within the CE, in common with most jackets. And there's also a pocket for an optional back protector. You've got a choice of a level one or a level two, which is provided by Oxford. We've got links to those in the description for this video and it's £20 for the level one back protector or it's £30 for the beefier level two. Also on the inside, there are two connecting zips for trousers, a short one and a long one that both attach to the matching Mondial textile trousers. They're available in three different leg lengths, have a similar outer construction, the same laminated membrane, and also meet level A within the CE safety standard. As I said, the Mondial jacket's been really popular with customers in the time that it's been around. There are lots of compliments within customer reviews, and the average score for it is 4.75 out of 5, which is very respectable. Within those customer reviews, if there's anything that is a criticism of this jacket, 
then it's about the neckline. Quite a few people within the reviews say the neck is quite low. For me, that's not a problem. I actually like a low neckline. Don't want too much interference around the helmet strap, but some people like that to be a bit higher. So this either might not be an option for them or make sure you've got a good solid neck warmer that's gonna keep out any chill. I hope that gives a good picture of the Oxford Mondial Advanced Textile Jacket, but if there's anything we've missed, please pop a question in the comments below and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.